In this video, we're learning implicit differentiation. With implicit differentiation, every time you take the derivative of a y value, you must multiply by dy dx. In our first problem, let's go term by term. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Derivative of 3y squared is 6y. And since we took the derivative of a y value, we must multiply by dy dx is equal to derivative of a constant is 0. Let's now move any term that does not have a dy dx to the other side. So we're going to subtract 3x squared over to the other side. Canceling this out, we have 6y dy dx is equal to negative 3x squared. We can now divide the 6y to the other side. dy dx is equal to negative x squared over 2y. In our second example, again, term by term, derivative of x squared would be 2x. Now our next term is two functions being multiplied together, so that would be product rule. 2x is our first function, y is our second function, so we'll need to do first times derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So we would get 2x multiply by the derivative of y would be 1 dy dx plus our second function, which would be y, multiplied by the derivative of 2x would be 2. We have a negative 3y squared, which would be negative 6y. Since that is a y term, we multiply by dy dx is equal to derivative of a constant is 0. Now let's move any term that does not have dy dx to the other side. So we want to subtract the 2x over to the other side. We would like to su uh, subtract the 2y over to the other side. This allows us to cancel this term and that term. We now have a 2x dy dx minus a 6y dy dx equal to a negative 2x minus 2y. Now we need to factor out a dy dx in order to solve. If I take out a dy dx inside, I would have a 2x minus a 6y equal to negative 2x minus 2y. Now we can divide both sides by a 2x minus a 6y. That will cancel out this term. On the left side, we have dy dx. On the right side, notice we can do some reducing here. We could divide either by a 2 or a negative 2. Notice that in these four terms, there are three negatives and one positive. We would prefer three positives and one negative. So let's divide each of these four terms by a negative 2. If we divide negative 2x by a negative 2, we would get positive x. Negative 2y by a, po a negative 2 would give us a positive y. On the bottom, dividing 2x by a negative 2 would be a negative x. And a negative 6y by a negative 2 would be a positive 3y. Most college professors and AP test writers would find it to be more elegant if the denominator was reversed, giving us x plus y on top, 3y minus x on the bottom. In our third example, we have x squared minus 4xy plus 6y squared equals 7. Again, in this term, we're going to have product rule. Be careful, that first function there is a negative 4x. So term by term, derivative of x squared is 2x. Now we're going to go first, multiply by derivative of the second, 
plus the second multiply by the derivative of the first. So we have a negative 4x multiply by dy dx, derivative of y, plus our second function, y, times the derivative of negative 4x, which is a negative 4. Derivative of 6y squared would be a positive 12y multiply dy dx, because we took the derivative of a y value. Ma derivative of a constant is 0. Again, let's move terms that are not involving a dy dx to the other side. So let's subtract this negative 2x to the other side. Let's add this 4y to the other side, canceling out both terms. We now have a negative 4x dy dx plus a 12y dy dx equal to, on the right side, we have a negative 2x plus a 4y. Let's factor out a dy dx. Inside would be a negative 4x plus a 12y equal to a negative 2x plus 4y. We can divide the negative 4x plus 12y to the other side. Canceling out this term, we now have dy dx equal to, now let's look at reducing this. We have an equal number of positives and negatives. We can divide all of those values by 2. If I divide them by 2 and don't change the order, I get negative x plus 2y over a negative 2x plus a 6y. Uh, AP could simply reverse that as 2y minus x over 6y minus 2x. In our last example, term by term, the derivative of 3y squared would be 6y dy dx, because we took the derivative of a y value. We have a negative sine y. The derivative of negative sine would be negative cosine y dy dx. Again, we took the derivative of a y value equal to the derivative of 2x squared would be 4x. Derivative of a constant would be 0. We can factor out a dy dx on the left side. Inside, we would have 6y minus cosine y equal to 4x. We can divide both sides by the 6y minus cosine y. Now we have dy dx is equal to, uh, we're tempted to reduce the 4, 6. But notice that there is no value in front of cosine to factor out. And in order to reduce, you need to be able to factor, then cancel. So we have to leave the 4x and have a 6y minus cosine y.